Hey everybody, got my wife helping me today. We are at an AT&T cell phone store and I got my wife vacuuming with the Sanitaire commercial grade vacuum. Get up as Even much dry, si dry soil as possible, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why she plugged in like right on top of herself. There's a long cord there. <laughs> anyway, you can see it's heavily soiled, but there are patterns here where there's darker squares and lighter squares. And I think what happened was when they did the layout of the store, they tried to put the darker tiles or the darker carpet tiles in the most frequently um, used areas or high traffic areas. So keep that in mind when you're watching but oh, cool. yeah, we'll this uh, carpet I'm using the, the 175 today I had it on the truck from yesterday I forgot uh, to load the mighty on there but I do love the 175 and I was telling you the wheels would kind of concave because they're it's like a lawnmower almost you'll see in a moment I'll show you the two wheels are independent with a small uh, one and a half inch bolt and so it without having a straight bar going all the way across there was flexibility so what I figured I would do is just get a eight inch piece of PVC tube and pull the wheels back a little bit and put that in place over the bolt and then when I'm pushing it the pre there's no pressure it keeps it from from the wheels going concave it worked perfect but anyway that's why that was on my truck from i wanted to try it out and i'm gonna run it today with the uh, pvc so far so good and i am using fire dragon and i'll tell you what the the i mean the green dragon is an awesome chemical you can use it on wool, you can use it on all carpet types, you can use it on upholstery, you can use it on tile. And then a step up from there is the uh, Dragon Fire, that's P-H-I-R-E. Yeah, These crazy. products are available at the end cap store. Look at that. That's wow. the Dragon Fire. I'm not yeah. using a scrubbing pad, I'm just using an Iron Man pad. Mm -hmm. And it is dripping like butter. That's the main entry where they walk in and out to the back room in the office. You see that? Oh my goodness. Everywhere the pad touches, and I will use about three or four pads in here. I'm not going to skimp on the pads. I'll do about uh, four linear rows heading towards the front door, and then I'll flip it over, do an additional... Uh, four rows when I say rows I'm talking about the carpet uh, squares and then I'll get another pad put that on and all I did was this um, back area by the door I'm working my way out the front door because I had intended I did the tile in the back room and I was going to clean the carpets get to the front door and then throw one more layer of wax down and let the guy uh, lock up the store but the alarm code was way back in the back and he would have had to walk over the wet wax so we settled for one coat and nobody goes in the back room anyway but the employees but it looked fantastic you could see it in the previous video so anyway and initially when i get started i, I you see me going back over a few areas and that's where my eyes are starting to realize that there's certain um, square tiles that are actually darker in color so but it is just coming out beautiful and those 10 inch wheels oh my goodness you could see they're up high enough I don't need a riser or anything and getting up and down stairs I did a job the other day I think I posted that had these trailer stairs no problem and I had one this morning that um, the customer wouldn't let me film. I don't know why. Some people think you're casing their house. And it was kind of difficult anyway, in and out with all the furniture. So 
but I had uh, stairs going up that twisted no problem thing is now I think I've got it a hundred percent modified to where I really like it uh, the only way I'd probably get rid of this one is if I bought that little 13 inch uh, Clobinez or whatever it is that you may have seen the end cap store starting to sell so we'll see what happens and I'll you know I'll continue to use obviously my Oric this 175 and my mighty ECO I don't know if it's ECO or Echo. Chime in in the comments. What do you guess? Is it an Echo? Maybe I'll ask Damon at the NCAP store. I've heard people say um, it's ECO, not not Eco, but who knows? Anyway, I'll show you here in a moment when I get done with my, the rows that I'm working on. And you can see here I'm going back over those dark squares just wondering making sure that uh, I get it clean. I'm in no rush here, but I did want to get out of here by at least 10 p.m. The store closed at seven. We got here right at seven, got everything set up, called the district manager, got the payment over the phone. And I figured if I could get out of here by 10 o'clock, 9.30, 10 o'clock, that would be great. One of the employees who had the day off uh, was called in in the evening. I guess they paid him for staying. So he came, he showed up about 6.30, stayed till 10, and then locked up the store. So that was pretty simple. And I will say someone commented on the shoes I'm wearing the other day. These are uh, Tread Safe from Walmart. They're like a rubber shoe. Uh, really comfortable. They're slip-on. They're only $18. I put a link on, one, on, on his comment in the uh, video where I was wearing these. I think it was the first video I was wearing them, but I kind of like them. They, they feel good, and then the they're anti-slip. So with the cleaning, even though I didn't use the like stripper that, that I had with me, and I decided just to use the Dragon Fire to uh, buff off the first layer of wax or dirt, back there in the VCT tile it was pretty slick with the wax and everything coming through and I didn't have any motion on my my feet which was good so $18 I'll probably buy another pair here's the contrast you could see the pad it did go all the way through but look at that line where I stopped oh my god this is dragon fire and this place has never been cleaned. It's been here for many years. And that's what the before, that's what they assumed the carpet looked like, I guess. And we're uncovering the uh, natural look of that. Look, it's beautiful. So anyway, I appreciate you guys joining me for the cleaning portion. This was a, a success, came out beautiful. Everyone's happy. And I'll try and post more videos, get a little more footage, a little more tutorial information for those of you guys who are trying to learn, guys and gals. In the meantime, I'll see you in my next episode.